Hello world, this is the Hacker Triple O Seven, and today I'm bringing you guys a cool video: how to install Google's Chromium OS on a portable hard drive slash flash drive. Now, this is basically going to be is you're going to be able to run an operating system off of your flash drive. It is a custom version of Chromium OS built by he Hexx. I see Sam. It's called the vanilla version. Um, I have personally not tested it out yet. This is my f this is my first time using it. So you guys will be uh, along for the ride. So I'm gonna bring you guys to this post area here. Um, I'll have a link in the description to bring you guys here. So if you go down here, we can have on the home page we have different options. We have the donate button. We have make Chrome OS Live USB drive on Windows, Linux, and a Mac. So click the little tab right here, and it's going to have a couple of different op the, the instructions. So you're going to need WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract the image file from the archive. It is a uh, 253 megabyte file, I believe, or 233, and it has a 2 gigabyte image file inside. Then you need the Windows Image Writer, which will allow you to copy the image to the flash drive. And we're going to need to click on Write. So we're going to go down here and down links to the top highest one and type it and hit USB. And it will bring you the option. Just save the file and continue on with me. So I've already extracted the uh, file. You get this right here. And I have the other one right here. So this is the actual the OIS2 download in here, just extract it, and then in here we have Windows Disk Manager. So before we do all this, you're going to need to have a flash drive plugged in or external hard drive. You're going to need to uh, format the hard drive, so make sure everything uh, that you have on there is either backed up or you just don't care if you lose it. Right click on it and click Format. Keep the keep write a name and just click everything else the same and click start and okay this is going to format your system format the uh, flash drive and so now that's done hit close and open up your other one that you downloaded I'll have a link in the description to download this too. It is the Windows 32 disk. It's a uh, disk writer. So just double click the top file there. And you should get a little program open up here. And now we're going to click a little folder right here. And find the, oh, the image. So right here we have the Chrome OS vanilla image. And then we're going to find the drive. So mine is F and that's, that's the correct one I want and click right. Click yes. And it's going to go. I'm now going to pause the video and get back to you guys when it is done. So once the program is done, done, all you have to do is exit out and you're done for this part of the video. Um, the next part will be recorded on the outside of my computer. Okay, I'm back. So, uh, first of all, sorry for the terrible quality. Uh, I had my phone. I'm getting a new Android tablet for Christmas, and I'll be using that. So, as you saw, I plugged in the flash drive that I used, and turned on the computer. As soon as it shows the uh, HP or whatever, press the Escape button, and you should get the Start menu. This should tell you what you have as your boot option. Mine was F9. By selecting F9, it moves you to the boot option menu. I went down to the USB flash disk and selected that. This will now open up the Chrome OSS, OS operating system. Pretty soon I'll be switching monitors, so here we go. So now I have the bear's monitor, and I will be presented with a first startup sequence. I was overall very, very impressed with this operating system. 
I thought it was a really cool thing that happened. So first thing here we have is the uh, language. So I'm changing mine to my current region, which is U.S. Canada. Keyboard, U.S. keyboard, and network. I'm actually going to connect to my network. So you can just type in your network password. and click connect and this will automatically connect to your network if you plug in the ethernet cord it should automatically connect now we're going to have our uh, gmail login so I'm going to pause the video and uh, typed in my gmail account so there we go I have it everything typed in now you can just click sign in and it's automatically going to gather everything from your account. And now we'll be presented with the account picture. So there's a couple of the options. You'll see have some ladybugs, some Google Plus things, a cupcake. And you also have the option to actually start your webcam up and take a picture using your, your webcam. So I end up going with a little world icon. And here we have a little. Uh, get used to your net your chrome so you have to master the touchpad it looks like so you just click on the little google icon this one you have to uh... use the two fingers to touchpad and this you use two fingers up and down and it will actually move the uh... mouse or move the uh... google icon and the last one is drag so you just have to drag the little google icon into the box all the way to the right side there Now, once you've done that, you can actually just click to visit the web store. And that's about it, actually. So, now I'm just going to put you guys through like another minute and a half of just through the OS. So, as you guys can see, it's actually the whole thing is, throughout, is through Google Chrome. Now, it's like imagine Google Chrome as the only thing you can see on your, on your computer. You can uh, also explore files on Google Chrome, and all basically it, Google Chrome is your computer. Uh, I like it a lot because it uh, it's your browser and it's your computer in one, and you don't have to worry about like downloading or because everything is really easy to install. The file manager is great too. You can also explore um, files on the hard drive. So for this tutorial we're running it on a USB flash drive, you can actually go through and find files on the computer that you're actually using. Now I did not show that, but you can, I found that out after. So here is me actually going to be installing a uh, Tweet Deck program. Um, at the time I, I thought it didn't work, so I just ignored, ignored the idea, but it ends up popping up pretty soon. But it's a pretty sweet OS. Um, I'm not going to say I'd switch to it over Windows or Mac, but I think it's a pretty, for having it on a flash drive, I think it's a great idea. Like, um, being able to bring it anywhere. You know, you're at a friend's house, but his computer is a piece of crap. You know, you can just plug in your flash drive and boom, now you have your own computer. And let's say you have your standard Windows computer. Anything you sync to your Google account, it also pops up on this computer. So I think it's a cool it's a cool idea. So that's about it for this video. Um let's let it run out for us thirty seconds. And here we have it's saying we have some stuff some stuff downloading and right now I'm actually looking through the themes. Again, I'm sorry for the video quality in this sec section right here. Um it does suck because I am recording with a three megapixel camera, I believe. But I will be getting my tablet pretty soon for Christmas and I will probably do a couple of videos on that and some stuff like that. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like it up. I'll have download links in the description for every single thing you need. And that's about it for this video. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.